Stephen Beckett, friend of Danny Ruiz. We go back a long ways. We went through grammar school together, junior high, high school. We raced bicycles, motorcycles. We've done just about everything together. I was with Danny when he got hurt. Uh, Danny re rebuilt this motorcycle. It was my first motorcycle. My dad bought this motorcycle for me in probably 1966. I was about 10 years old. Danny Root hated me at the time, but I was the first one in the group to have a motorcycle. He used to make fun of me. Anyway, Danny and Root and I have done a lot together, and he's my best friend. And I, we really have to appreciate what Danny's done here for all of us, and have to be very proud of him. I'm Peter Starr, and I've come up from Los Angeles today to help Dan celebrate his 20th anniversary of the museum. I've got to tell you, for five years now, I've been meaning to come up here. Never made it because I've been working on one thing or another. I had to come this weekend because it is the 20th anniversary, and I've spent the last couple of hours looking through the museum, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm a big, big fan of mild dirt track racing, and I'm so happy that Dan has gone to the trouble to preserve our sport in the way that he has. I also want to congratulate him on being nominated and will be inducted into the Trailblazers Hall of Fame next year. And we're all very proud that he's done that, he's achieved that, and we look forward to making him one of our Trailblazers next year. My name's Rick O'Connor, and uh, this is my car. It's a 1932 Ford four-door sedan. Uh, it was originally built by Brizio's Street Rods in uh, South San Francisco back in the 80s. And uh, we've kind of tried to keep it the way it was when it was originally built. And uh, we get a lot of use out of it and have a lot of fun with it. My name is Cody Van Dyke. Uh, we're here because I like flat track racing and being around it. Uh, my bike's a 1978 RD400 in a Boyden Stallings frame. It's a funny story. Um, it, was a, it used to be a friend's frame and it was up in our attic with the engine and everything and we just pulled the engine out and the frame out and cleaned it up and made the engine fit into the frame and there it is. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast, racer, and a collector, and here today we're at the 20th annual Dan Royce Flat Track Museum. We are uh, celebrating uh, 20 years of, uh, of motorcycle history here. Today we brought the world's fastest Indian. This is not the movie bike, this is the actual bike that's a streamliner. Broke the record in 1967. SA-1000 class is Streamline alcohol it went 183.586. Fastest qualifying documented run was 190 in 1969. Uh, Glenn Pierce is here. His family is the one that actually put them up on the lakes to make the run. Uh, my brother bought it from Gordy Clark, and uh, Gordy Clark had bought it from Sam Pierce, who's a local here in Fresno. And uh, we're just trying to enjoy the day and help support Dan Roy with his flat track museum.
Right. I'm Chuck Albrecht. I'm with the Christian Motorcyclists Association. We ride with the Romans Road Riders, chapter number 280 here. Uh, we're based in Fresno, California. Uh, we're a Christian ministry outreach to the motorcycling community. We're here to support Danny Ruitt's 20th anniversary of the Flat Track Motorcycle Museum. We've been helping him out here for all oh, the last almost 10 years. So uh, yeah, it's a great, great opportunity to see some some really vintage motorcycles and uh, motorcycles of all kind. You uh, need to come out and support the museum. Danny would really appreciate it, and it's a great opportunity to be out amongst the motorcycling community. Uh, name's Andy Soto, my brother Manuel Soto, my sons, and uh, we've heard a few things about it over the years. Um, we're big race fans as far as road racing. Uh, we appreciate you guys putting this on, and. Uh, we're going to go take a walk around the museum right now. It should be great. Okay, my name is Debbie Scales. This is my daughter, Melissa, my boyfriend, Wayne, my granddaughter, Brooklyn. We came out here because it's Wayne's cousin, and we just enjoy it. It's a good family event, good to bring the kids to, great way to educate them. My name is Mike Walters. I'm with Matthews Harley Davidson. This is Eva Matthews, motorcycle, the owner of Matthews Harley Davidson, and um, been friends with Danny Root for 30 years, so we come every year. And I guess that's about it. <laughs> oh, I'm Mike Keith. I'm from Kingsburg, California, and I come here to Danny's Flat Track Museum to support Danny and his and his good venture here with the motorcycles. And I have a 1948 Harley 125 that my dad built and raced back in 1953. I, and it's completely modified. There's another stock part on it. And just really a lot of heritage to my family and a lot of work. And it's just like representing flat track racing and my dad and what it's, what it's all about. Justin and I've seen a lot of cool stuff around here like uh, I've seen a lot of Indians in the Flat Track Museum. I, pr I like some bikes over here. There's a lot of stuff I like here and I will and I kind of like the 40s bikes around here and, and the 30s and stuff. Uh, uh, I was I looked at the world's fastest Indian over there and uh, I think it's pretty cool. And so today's been pretty fun. And due to many fine people, Glenn Pierce, Digger Helm, several members of the Trailblazers, a motion was brought to our board to induct Dan Ruitt into the Trailblazer Hall of Fame, which is quite an honor. When, when this was brought to the board, and there's approximately 15 people on our board, it was instant unanimous. There was no if ands, there was no discussion whatsoever. Everybody looked at each other and said, why hasn't it been done before? And so, thanks to your friends and everybody in the motorcycle industry, and the Trailblazers in particular, you will be formally inducted into the Trailblazer Hall of Fame uh, April 14th, isn't that correct? Of 2012. 
Okay, also, uh, Larry Langley's dog would like to say a few words. <laughs> yes, yes. Part of the board is Tom Seymour from Saddleman. Tom would like to say a couple of words. I just wanted to say there is no more a deserving recipient of our of this award because Dan is certainly the true spirit of our sport and the flat track and we really welcome him to be part of uh, our ceremonies this coming year and we're looking forward to this entire year to when you're coming down to be part of what we can do. Thank you for all that you've done. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I don't know why, why what I love so much. <laughs> Thank you. I, I just never met better people than motorcycle people. I mean, especially the, the you know, just as growing up as a kid. Watching uh, Jimmy and Keith and Digger and Eddie and Don Castro and Merlot, well, the list goes on and on. And, and then literally, like the guy in, in Lonely Sunday Revisited, we, uh, watching Lonely Sunday and Take It to the Limit and uh, Lonely Sunday Not Revisited and watching him tell the VCR, but up in smoke, you know, because he just couldn't get enough. And, and to uh, be able to try to preserve what I think is the greatest sport ever and to have these guys who I used to look up as gods to me have them here you know, on my property and it's kind of a weird feeling when you were all his heroes. Yeah, when you when you have your heroes when you're when you're in the pits as a ten year old kid with drool in your mouth and you're staring at these garros and they're bigger than life and then you get to see them when they're no bigger than midgets well, they were, and 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 you get their autograph, and you just come home. I got at my bedroom. I had eight by ten Mahoney shots everywhere, and and then to see these guys and have them actually come to our house and enjoy just what I don't know. It's just um, I just love love all of you that want to be involved, and without all the support of my family and all the volunteers that. It'd never be here. And my wife, Kathy. She's the one who started it all. Yeah. Thank you. Just thank you. We're going to have that DVD there, thank you. Uh -huh. um, he's the guy that did the DVD. Oh, okay. So, okay. Editor. Well, Dan, it, it shows you how things get turned around here. Uh, we may have been your hero years ago, but as times change, you have become our hero because where else can we go and revisit our past other than the Dan Ruitt Museum? So you're our hero now, buddy. Okay, uh, Judy has a couple of goodies for you. Um, you don't have to wait until the banquet. And by the way, this was hard. We've known this for months now. And keeping it from you has been a chore. Uh, everybody's so excited and everybody wanted to tell you and it has been a real chore because you know the old saying is telephone, telegraph, tell a motorcycle rider. <laughs> okay, thank you very much everybody. We sure appreciate being able to come up and do this. <laughs>